So if you remember, we did the um, little test of uh, this little guy here. And yeah, there's a number of things wrong with this one. This one was that ESP32, but it only had that 10 amp relay in it. Yeah. So what did Sonoff do? They made it worse. So at first glance, they're sticking with this white and this orange thing. I kind of do like the color scheme. And the size is the same. Same exact size except for, yeah, the screw terminals are different. Let's get closer. So yeah, this one's sewn off. And so this is the new one right here with the four terminals. So let's get this one out the Nope. So let's get this one out the way that's sewn off and focus on this one. Now, let's get way down to this one so you can really see. And here is my screwdriver. So not my ugly fingers not in the way in Discord trying to uh, say I'm putting porn up again. So yeah, you do get your line out, line in, you switch one and switch two. Now, one thing you're probably already going, where's neutral at? Well, that is one of the cool things about this is there's no neutral required. Now, it is going to be Zigbee. It is supported by Zigbee to MQTT right now. I'm not sure about ZHA, but I'm assuming it probably is. It's a simple little relay device. So, let's look at... And you see that max load already? Six amps. So, I highly recommend... Yes, I'm going to open this thing up. If there isn't an inline fuse inside of it, then I would bring your own like little fuse to put in line with this. Just in case that there's some type of short or load or whatever, you never want this switch to be the weakest link of all. So, so we got our four terminals inside in the Zigbee board. This should just pop straight out. Let's take a closer look at the actual Zigbee board. MG22. Interesting. Not too sure on the MG22. We do the MG21. That's a Psy Labs EFR chip. So, pretty interesting. Now, of course, you know you don't flash these things. You don't really don't need to. Um, I'm hoping they do have the over-the-air update enabled this time around. The line ends going in, but I'm not seeing a fuse that would break anything in here unless I'm missing something. This, like I say, this is a no neutral or non neutral. We'll zoom in a little better with the full quality. And if y'all want to pause it there and look at the, looks like it's the saw, the solder is over it a little bit too much to really make out. If you know what those, or if you've got your Google going on, Google them up. I'm not seeing a fuse in line. So definitely want to do your own fuse with this guy. And um, let's go wire this up and we'll make a... I got a little test board I can do a no neutral on and line things up. We'll give it a shot right quick. So this is just my little test board. And yeah, I know I probably will freak out a lot of you by that exposed copper there but i won't be touching it so um uh we, I, that's normally in a way go so but we'll see so it does work i can hear it clicking on and off let's get it paired into zigbee to mqtt so we'll do our permit join all and let's hold the button down for a few seconds Definitely works just fine with Zigbee to MQTT. Now, of course, it's not going to be a routing device. I'll turn this other light off. It's going to drive me nuts. So it's not going to be a routing device because it's a no neutral one. So it wants to sleep a lot. And so you'll just see it as in device. And there's pretty much nothing else to it. The exposes. Oh, they do have the power on behavior. I wish they would, let's see if that works, because I've seen it not work on the S31 and the S40 plugs. Kind of curious to see. Power on behavior, we'll see if it just says preview. Well, I like to use previous, what it was at before. So it's on, it's off, and what if we turn the power off, and then we'll put the power back on. 
So that does work. Pretty cool that they do have that working. Um, I'm curious of, did they leave it OTA open? Ah, they did. Good deal. So when there is other over the air updates, you'll get to update that with ZHA. If they have that working, I think they do and Zigbee to MQTT. So pretty cool there. So definitely pretty cool there, a small little relay for Zigbee to go in the wall. You know, you can use it to control your lights and whatnot. But do keep in mind that six amp load, bring your own fuse. So yep, check out the links down below where you can find out where to buy it. And I do appreciate Sonal for sending it over for review, but no funds were exchanged. So we kept the review unbiased as always. And I appreciate all the YouTube subscribers, Patreon members, definitely couldn't do it without you. And y'all take care.